Tonight, loved ones are remembering a young star football player who died in a fiery car crash on New Year's Day. Our Carly Van Cleve sat down with the family and football coach of 23-year-old Keyshawn Edwards as they remember him. Me and my husband were in Cincinnati. The weekend of New Year's, Tisha White and her husband took a trip for themselves. Well, at midnight, I usually always call the kids. And this year, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to allow them to be young men. Her boys, Jamari A. Lee Shore and Keyshawn Edwards, all grown up. But then everything changed. My son called my husband, and, you know, I can hear, I can hear Mari, and I can hear my husband telling him just to calm down. And then Mari says, well, there's something on the news, and it looks like Keyshawn's car. White says she saw photos of a fiery car accident and recognized the car. And when I looked online and I, I seen the car, I just, in my spirit, I knew, I knew that that was my baby. Police say Keyshawn was driving and hit an unoccupied parked car on Westbrook Drive during the first hours of the new year. His car burst into flames. So we, um, we rushed home. And... I got the phone call that, you know, the coroner's office was, was going to call me. Somebody was going to call me. And when they called me, that's when they confirmed that it was my son. Keyshawn died on the scene at only 23 years old. That's love. And he will forever, forever be missed in love by many people. His light was very bright. So his legacy is going to live on in us through his friends and everybody that he's touched. A part of that legacy, he was a star football player. Edwards played at Northrop High School and set several school records. She says he made 1,000 rushing yards in a season and set the record of 342 rushing yards and three touchdowns in one game. Nobody has broken that record. Yeah. That was his greatest achievement. The team's taking it pretty hard. It hit us. It hit us tough. Seriously, it did. More recently, Keyshawn was a running back for the semi-pro football team called the Fort Wayne Tigers. Head coach Quentin Washington says their team will never be the same. Keyshawn was one of those kids. It's like a in sports is a lightning bolt. Like deceptively fast, you know, super quick, agile. I just feel like the spirit of Key has been like by me since like the day after it happened. He up there playing football in peace. You know, he doing everything he loved already up there. Yeah. Lee Shore says he knows his brother will always be with him in one way or another. And for Keyshawn's mother, she says she just wishes she could be with her son one last time. I didn't even get a chance to say see him. And that he was handsome. He was my baby. My firstborn. To touch him one last time. Mm. I would, there's nothing I wouldn't pay to have that one last time. But she says she knows Keyshawn impacted so many people, and that's helped give their family strength. Carly Van Cleve, 21 Alive News. The family is raising money now to start a foundation in his honor. Very important uh, for that family to be able to keep his legacy alive. You can find the details to that on our website. And Washington does say that um, they are going to wear Keyshawn's jersey and they're going to wear that proudly in his honor at a football game. Carly, thank you for that story tonight.